Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting the journey of Colleen Bio. Colleen Bio might seem like a weird name to you, but it is Irish for girl cow or cow girl, basically. I said I'd start going back to my roots somewhat and starting to introduce a bit of the Osgwelga into my videos. Osgwelga just basically means Irish and it is the native language of Ireland. I thought it was fitting for her. So let's start Colleen Bio's journey in the world of Warcraft. Great tragedy has rocked the Tauren tribes and shaken their once stalwart devotion to the Horde. A disagreement between the new Orc war chief Garrosh Hellscream and the beloved Tauren chieftain Cairn Bloodhoof led to a duel that ended in Cairn's death. With his loss, the vile matriarch Magatha Grimtotem launched a murderous attack, attempting to seize control of Thunder Bluff for herself. However, Cairn's brave son, Bane Bloodhoof, successfully repelled the attack and banished the surviving Grimtotem to the farthest reaches of the land. Under Bane's hopeful leadership, the Tauren people now seek to heal their wounds and restore the balance between the various factions of the Horde. To this end, a new generation of Tauren Sunwalkers has arisen to lead their people into the light of a new dawn and the promise of rebirth. As a proud tribesman of Mulgor, you must uphold the honor of your people and safeguard the lands of your ancestors. So here we are at the starting area for the Taurans. So yet again, this is like one of my first times ever playing a Tauren. I went with a monk because I just thought the idea of a fighting cow was pretty funny. And as I said, her name is Colleen Bio. So if you didn't know any Irish before, you do now. Let's go and speak to Chief Hawkwind. The first step. What you see here is the work of the Quillbor Young One. Year after year, they have encroached on our village. The Great Cataclysm finally drove them from their dens to spread the locusts across the land. And now you see the result. My own mother, dead from their savagery. Aww. Today you are of age. Today you will take up your weapon and fight for the tribe and avenge the Great Mother. Follow the path to the east and find my son, Grull. He will lead you in our strike against the Quillbor. Is she here? Or is this just like a ceremony for her? Ah, there she is. Oh wow, we're really going in-depth to it straight away, aren't we really? Can't really see properly there. I don't know why I'm really trying to, I'll be honest. But yeah, very interesting cutscene at the start. I didn't realize that their leader was actually killed. So already coming in with a bit of drama here. And these would probably be, I mean, the Pandarian maybe more so, but you would imagine the Tauren being maybe the more peaceful of the different races. That didn't inhabit Azeroth. So a bit sad that that happened to them. And here we have Grull. So this is his son. Welcome to your first true test as a Tauren. Right of strength. Behold, Colleen Bio. The very presence of the Bristleback is a blight. Nothing is left in their wake, corpses and barren land. Camp Narash could become what you see here in a few days unless we stand and fight. This will be your right of strength, the first ceremony of a Tauren Brave. Go into the heart of the Tauren Snarl and kill Bristleback Quilvor, then return to me. And we absolutely will, no problem. Oh, that's handy, they're here anyway. Ah, so, unlike most starting areas when you go in, now, I suppose they are in battle. 
But these are red straight away. I suppose they look like that. Yeah, they are actually in battle, so that's probably why. Handy though, I suppose you kind of have their aggro already being directed to someone else. So these are all fledglings as well. We're all the same. Out doing what we would call our rite of passages, I suppose. And there we go, straight in. So that is blackout kick. So probably do that one first. Let's see. No, I thought it might be a multi. I haven't really played the monks either. I will say. Never really cared for them. You fought well, Colleen Bio. We may yet be saved. Go in peace. Our tribe imprisoned. Despite their size, the bristleback greatly outnumber us. A pack ambush can easily overwhelm even the largest torrent. Many new initiatives have taken up arms to defend our home. Some have given their lives, but others have been captured alive. Please find their cages and free them. The battle should keep the quillbore distracted. I'm going to assume it's going to be in here. Yes. Now, interestingly enough, when I was picking the name, Colleen Bio, I put down Bio first, which in Irish, that is B O Fada, and that means cow. Bio was already taken. So, either there is a character in the game called Bio, with a Fada, or there is someone else who is going around called Bio as a player. Who knows, I might come across them someday. Well, I did have to laugh when I typed that in and it said it wasn't available. Now, unless if your name is too short, that won't let you do that either because it is literally, it's just two letters. B and O Fada, as we'd say. So this is obviously where the quill boar live. And as you can see, it's all dead and desolate and you can just tell that there is like a rot going through it compared to the lovely green peaceful lands of the Tauren. So I suppose the Tauren are the closest to like Native Americans if we were kind of going geographically wise or like linking them to humans or real life that would be the closest I would get for them. Obviously they'll put all their totems and everything. Thanks to you, our people are free to fight for our home. Go to Andana. We stuck a great blow against a quill bore here. I will stay here and hold the line. Hold the line. But you need to move on. See Gadana Thunderhorn. She has taken a few braves to the southwest to root out the rest of the bristlebacks. Okay, the reason why I got so excited about that hold the line is because in terms of me recording, I have only just recently finished recording the Dwarf Warrior series. And that was Kleena. And in the Dwarf starting area, one of their quests, I think it's actually the first quest, is hold the line. Which, like that, I said, is linked to Toto. So yet again, just hold the line there as well. Maybe there's a big Toto fan on the World of Warcraft development team. And really, what I didn't realise as well, now quite clearly, all these starting areas, the cataclysm has just happened literally this morning. And it seems now in each of the starting areas, it has thrown the creatures that live there into complete disarray like this the quillbacks are attacking because of it so this is andana thunderhorn well more trials lay ahead colleen bio i hope you're prepared it is my role to test our young initiatives on the way of the hunt and that hasn't changed today the quillbore are our prey 
Stop the torn callers. Knowing the way of your prey is another aspect of the hunt. In the lands they come from, quillbores live in the shade and protection of their huge, torn roots. When they move, their shaman seeds and grow new roots for them to live in. These thorns mar the land and choke out other life, turning the earth around them barren. Go to the south and stop these torn callers before they have a chance to continue Colleen Bio. One of the first lessons you should learn Colleen Bio is to never underestimate your prey. While we were distracted by the attack on Camp Narash, more of the bristlebacks swept in unnoticed and stole a cache of our rifles. You can see them to the south now filling the air with lead. This is your right of courage. Brave the hail of gunfire, hunt the bristleback gun thieves and bring back our rifles. Okay, so in we go. So we have the right of strength already done. And we are now going for the right of courage. Oh, <laughs> well that's the roll then. <laughs> I know how to do that one. For guys who may not have had guns before, they've gotten used to them fairly quick now. Oh, my roll still isn't, still isn't up. I actually think Tauren Monk is actually now very well suited. Oh, I'm going to keep doing that by accident. I don't really need to be rolling just around the place. Probably be better to roll to them first. But yeah, for guys who maybe never had guns before, they have picked it up very quickly. Oh, and they're the shamans. So like that, all the land is completely barren because of them. Nothing is growing. It's just, it's all dead. You'd wonder how they even get to, you know, grow anything really with the way they have it all. So I just need to get one more of the rifles. I need to get four more of the bristleback torn callers. With the corruptors slain, the earth mother will mend her own wounds in due time. The roots are not meant to thrive here and will wither. Balance will return. How many have you brought me, Initiate? Well done, Colleen Bio. Respect your prey and the danger it carries, but never fear it. In fear, you become prey yourself. They're very wise here, all right. The battle boars. There are more threats to be dealt with here. The bristlebacks are taming wild boars to be used against us. These armored battle boars have been abused beyond hope of recovery. They must be put down for our safety and their peace. Go to the pens to the south and slay them, Colleen Bio. Return to me afterwards. So those are the ones that we saw up there that I was saying, are they, you know, do they have their own livestock, basically? We must do something more than simply hunt boars here. The eyesore that has been left upon the land must be purged. To give them a wild thirst for blood, the battle boars are fed raw flesh. Take this torch and use it to burn the troughs of meat and gore to cinders. Absolutely. So yet again, we're going and we're doing more culling uh, for the greater good, the greater good of ourselves and the lands. And at the same time, maybe laying to rest or kind of setting free whatever meat or flesh they've been feasting upon. It's all very gruesome business altogether. Now what's this? Oh, oh. So that might be my multi-attack, maybe? Maybe not. Oh well, it didn't really do a whole lot. She has a good arm on her anyway. I'll say that now. Fair play to her. That was some distance. 
that she got with that, okay. Does it look like animal? Oh, well, I mean, I suppose I am a cow, so... Sorry, I should respect them. I am a tauren. But yeah, I wonder what it is that they're actually feeding them. Guess we don't have to be worried that it's human anyway. Good work, Colleen Bio. Those beasts could have been a greater threat than the Quillboard themselves if we had not taken action now. You've not only wiped the boar pens clean, but put a stop to the horrible desecration. Well done. Right of Honor. Chief Squealer Tornmantle leads these Quillboards. It was he that set upon Great Mother Hawkwind and took her life, leading the attack on Camp Narash. He fled and hid afterwards, but we found him. He lurks to the east within his foul den of thorns. Fend off any graves we send in after him. You've proven yourself as a brave defender of our people, Colleen Bio. Kill Tornmantle and bring his mane back to Chief Hawkwind in honour of our great mother. And I'll get a bag of thorns, which I'm pretty sure means that I'll get a bag. Which I am very pleased about. Hopefully this will be a quick in and out job and won't have to take out half the place. But yeah, how mean of him to just go and pick on her, like, nah. I was thinking it wouldn't be that easy. Right, will I roll in? Let's roll. Let's roll! There we go. Oh, you weren't expecting me, lads, were you? Oh, leg sweep. Let's leg sweep. Yeah, there we go. Don't like that, do you? You just wait until I get into you as well, boy. Take some crackling jade lightning. This, like, if these lads are very primitive, this must be absolutely freaking them out right now to be seeing all this. Squealer, take this land. Tauren will burn. Yeah, you think because it's from Pandaria, the whole monk thing, so it's not like it's native to Azeroth. So you think they'd be like absolutely freaking out going, what is that? And there we got his mane anyway. And the two bodyguards are killed as well. So relatively quick starting area. We have right of strength, right of courage and right of honour. Let's see if there's any more but these kind of things usually come in trees. So I'm assuming that'll be our Say, rite of passage done. Have you completed your trials, young one? Chief Hawkwind holds the mane of Torn Mantle over his head. The chief of the Bristlebacks is slain. Great Mother Hawkwind's spirit has been avenged. And I got a bag. Oh yeah, here. So, last rites, first rites. The camp is safe and the pillbore driven off. All thanks to you, young one. You have my personal thanks for what you've done for my mother, my son, and for all of us. It is now time to put Great Mother Hawkwind to rest. Lay the final offering at her feet, Colleen Bio, and we'll say our goodbyes. Oh, Earth Mother, into your arms we give one of our own. She is Uyana Hawkwind, my mother and great mother to us all, the wisest of our tribe. May her spirit fly to you swiftly, may the winds carry her gently, and the grass whisper her name. Watch over her as she watched over us, let her look down on us with joy through the internal gaze of Anshi and Musha, until we join her in death. For we all are born of you, and shall all return to you. Aw, am I meant to... I think I'll just... There. Sorry, I do be trying to keep up reading it, but they do go so quick, so I do have to read it from over here. Oh, I've been expecting you. There is a balance in all things. 
as Great Mother Hawkwind Spirit takes its final journey, you will begin your first. Walk with the earth. Today you have undertaken a rite of passage, far more difficult than we asked of most of our youths. Be proud. Now it is time for you to continue on your journey. To the west, beyond their burial ground, you will find a path winding up the mesa. Follow it to the top and speak with Diami Windsor. Walk with the Earth Mother, friend. You will always be welcome here. Be so we'll accept that, and that's actually kind of um, it's actually a kind of moving starting quest, really, isn't it? It's it's kind of nice and it's sad in its own way. This though, it feels like a very peaceful calm area and I do like that. I do think that guy is kind of funny down there though. That definitely has to have been on purpose. I'm not seeing any more. But it kind of reminds me of... Uh, I think the TV show... If, <laughs> now this will be maybe saying how old I am. The TV show, it's like Ed, Ed and Eddie. And one of them used to go around with a plank with a face on it. Google it and you'll see what I mean, but it looks exactly like that. Now let's go up top of the Mesa. Mesa? Maybe it's Mesa. There's no Z in it. Mesa. Mesa. Let's go up anyway. And oh, that, that must be more of them. And we'll speak to Diami Windsor. Now she's in that just a beautiful little scene now coming up. And a full moon overhead. Very pretty. Now I am actually playing it kind of at night time, so I'm assuming it's going along with the whole nighttime thing and it doesn't always look like that. I wonder if it was daytime, obviously, would the sun be up instead? Hey, great views up here though, isn't there? It would so remind you of, like, America and the Great Plains. The winds guide you. If you are prepared to leave Camp Narash behind, I will help all the spirits to guide you onwards. Rites of the wind. Look, Colleen Vio, the rolling plains of Mulgore stretch before you. Our home, the cradle of the Earth Mother. Here she provides us with all we could ever need a peaceful and verdant land. This is what you will fight to protect. Your journey will take you far beyond her sheltering arms, to the farthest and cruelest regions of this world and beyond. Below us is Bloodhoof Village. The first step on your true path begins now. Drink deep of the water of vision and let the spirits guide you onwards. Okay, so we might be in for a trip right now. Let's see. Oh. Now isn't that cool? No pun intended, but it's just giving us a bird's eye view of the area. Our home, where we would be protecting. Is that the way out over there? It must be. And down we go into the village. Now, isn't this all very calm? Uh, Kyle the Frenzied. The sound of the rain. Beautiful music in the background. Peace, Ammo Thunderhorn. Bane Bloodhoof, our high chieftain, once stood on this very spot and watched over this village, named for his tribe. Welcome to the Bloodhoof Village, hero. I am glad the spirits have guided you safely here. Colleen Bio, there are many conflicts that wound this land. 
It is my hope that you will not bear witness to as many of them as our elders have. Yet there is one that I would ask you to seek. It will give you some sense of how terrible, if left unchecked, even a small threat can be to the land. Pale main knolls have settled to the south of Bloodhoof and in a cave to the west. They disrespect our attempts to communicate with them and they slay the wildlife of Mulgar unbridled. Words are no longer the answer. Go in peace. And more in Cloudstalker. You may have heard of the Venture Company. They are a goblin cartel, something like a tribe. While one of these cartels has joined us in the Horde, the Venture Company is loyal only to greed. These greedy goblins and their workers have tried to exploit the resources of Mulgar before to little success. One of our outrunners, Morin Cloudstalker, has gone to check the remains of one of the goblins' caravans. If you wish to help him, follow the road out of the village to the east. And we have a flight path over here, so we will pick that up as well. And as I've gotten used to it all starting areas, I'm sure there will be a quest for us to use that flight path. A rain caller. I wonder, is this the one that's called the rain? My grandfather told me stories about his battles with a strider named Mazranch. He told me of its demonic red eyes, razor sharp talons and venomous bite. As fortunes would have it, while travelling across the plains, I encountered it and I took a nasty bite from my shoulder. He was as terrible as my grandfather described. I have gathered all the parts of the remedy I need to cure myself. Except a flatland cougar femur. I grow weaker by the moment. Please help me. I will if you'll stop the rain when we're done. Oh, look at there. <laughs> there he is again. I'm sure it's not meant to be a face, but... Ah, oh, look, it has to be a face. It's definitely two eyes. Oh, maybe it's actually in here, is it? Ah, yes, here we go. A bundle of hides. I have a bundle of hides from the animals of Mulgar and must get them to Thunderbluff. A colleague there, Ahanu, will use the hides to create leather goods. Will you take the hides to him for me? The quickest way to Thunderbluff is on the back of a Windrider. Bring the bundle of hides to Tack, our Windrider master in Bloodhoof Village, and speak to him about transport to Thunderbluff. Yeah, knew as much that there would be some quest to get us to Thunderbluff. Now, as I usually do, I will not be going there. Not at the start, anyway. I will get all the quests in this area done first, and then I will journey on to Thunderbluff. Thank you for taking the time to speak to me, Colleen Bio. I am Rule, warrior and teacher. You have obviously reached an age where you must prepare for your trials if you are to adventure much further out of Mulgore. If you wish a test of your strength, start by seeking out the Wind Fury Harpies to the southeast. They nestle along the mountain's edge, away from the road. They are one of our natural enemies here in Mulgore and will be a good gauge of your skill. So we came across the Harpies in the Night Elf starting zone as well. Like that, the Harpies were not native to the Night Elf starting zone. Oh wow, that's weird. Is that... Oh, it's actually... Okay, that's... Yeah, that's a bit weird. Is they are not native to the Night of Sturgeon area, the Cataclysm kind of threw everything up in the air. Poison water. Our sacred wells have been tainted, and I will need your help to fix this. 
To cleanse each well, I must create a cleansing totem. Then you must bring the totem to the well and perform a cleansing ritual. First, we will create a cleansing totem for the winter hook water well. To do this, the land must offer its aid. Hunt prairie wolves for their paws and adult plain striders for their talons. They are to the southeast. Return to me with the paws and the talons, Colleen Bio. And we just have one more to pick up then. And I'm assuming it is in this tent with the weird dried reptile things outside them. I know there is a name on them. I just can't remember what they're called. The swoop is a cunning bird and difficult to find and hunt. A collection of swoop quills is a badge of cleverness and determination for a hunter. If you are willing to take up this task, then enter the plains and hunt the swoop. Bring me their quills and bring honour to your clan. The swoops may be found anywhere in Mulgar, but your eyes must be sharp to spot them and your hoofs must be quick to catch them. Okay, so we have a good number of quests now for this starting area. So we have, yeah, five all together. So in the next episode, we will kick off with completing those quests. I'm assuming it's going to roughly bring us around all this area until we get to, yeah, Thunder Bluff is in there. Thunder Bluff, unless now a quest brings me in there. I mean, I know I have the flight one, but unless there is another one, that will be the last area I will visit. But so far, I mean, we have Camp Narash, which is the pre-pre-starting area finished, and we have picked up the quest in the Blood Hoof Village. If you like this video, please do give it a like, and if you'd like to see future videos by me, you can give a subscribe as well. I'm going to put a playlist here of my other World of Warcraft Let's Play videos. As always though, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!